Hey there, fellow dinosaur enthusiasts. Welcome back to another deep dive into the fascinating world of prehistoric creatures. Today, we're going to talk about one of the most iconic and mysterious marine reptiles of all time, the plesiosaur. First off, what exactly is a plesiosaur? Well, imagine a creature that's part dinosaur, part sea monster, and all around awesome. Plesiosaurs were a group of marine reptiles that lived during the Mesozoic era, alongside the dinosaurs. They were not dinosaurs themselves, but were part of a separate lineage of reptiles known as Sauropterygians. Now, let's set the stage. Picture yourself back in the Mesozoic era, around 200 to 66 million years ago. The oceans are teeming with life, and in these ancient seas, plesiosaurs ruled as apex predators. One of the most striking features of plesiosaurs was their body structure. They had long necks, small heads, broad bodies, and four paddle-like limbs. This unique body plan set them apart from other marine creatures of their time. Let's break down their anatomy a bit further. Plesiosaurs had a flexible neck composed of numerous vertebrae, allowing them to swivel their heads in various directions underwater. This feature was crucial for hunting and capturing prey. Speaking of prey, what did plesiosaurs eat? Well, they were carnivorous predators feasting on fish, squid, and other marine creatures. Their sharp teeth were perfect for snagging slippery prey in the depths of the ocean. Now, let's talk about their incredible swimming abilities. Despite their large size, plesiosaurs were highly adept swimmers. Their streamlined bodies and powerful flippers allowed them to navigate the waters with agility making them formidable hunters in their underwater domain. You might be wondering how big could these ancient sea reptiles get? Well, plesiosaurs came in a variety of sizes, ranging from small species measuring a few meters in length to giants like the Elasmosaurus, which could reach lengths of over 40 feet. Now, let's address the infamous Loch Ness monster myth. Many people have speculated that sightings of a mysterious creature in Scotland's Loch Ness could be a living plesiosaur. While the Loch Ness monster remains a cryptid and lacks scientific evidence, it's a fun reminder of the enduring fascination with prehistoric monsters like the plesiosaur. Moving on, let's delve into the fossil record. Plesiosaur fossils have been discovered on every continent, providing paleontologists with valuable insights into these ancient reptiles' lives. Fossilized remains have revealed details about their anatomy, behavior, and evolutionary history. One of the most famous plesiosaur discoveries occurred in the 19th century, when Mary Anning, a pioneering paleontologist, unearthed the skeleton of an ichthyosaurus and a plesiosaurus near Lyme Regis in England. Her discoveries revolutionized our understanding of prehistoric life in the oceans. Let's talk about plesiosaur reproduction. Like modern reptiles, Plesiosaurs likely laid eggs. Fossilized plesiosaur embryos have been found inside some specimens, shedding light on their reproductive strategies and early life stages. Now, let's address a common misconception. Despite their reptilian appearance, plesiosaurs were not dinosaurs. Dinosaurs belong to a different group called Dinosauria, which includes familiar land-dwelling giants like Tyrannosaurus rex and Stegosaurus, as we wrap up our exploration of plesiosaurs, it's important to appreciate their role in Earth's ancient ecosystems. These marine reptiles were top predators, shaping the dynamics of Mesozoic marine life and contributing to the rich tapestry of evolutionary history. And there you have it, folks, a deep dive into the world of plesiosaurs. These remarkable creatures remind us of the diversity and wonder of life on our planet, both past and present. Thanks for joining me on this journey through prehistory. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.